Okay, we'll talk about gratitude. So today, today the gospel uh, teaches us about gratitude, right? Both the gratitude of the uh, Samaritan leper who was cured from his leprosy and the nine who were ungrateful. Okay, but I want to relate gratitude to something else that many people nowadays suffer from. This alarm will keep going on now. I want to relate um, gratitude to happiness. To happiness. There is a big correlation between happiness and gratitude. Simply put, the happiest people are those who are always grateful for the good things that they have received from God, from the blessings that, that God has showered on them that they acknowledge and that they recognize. They, those are the happiest people. And the opposite is true. People become sad when they do not recognize the good things that they have when they do not recognize the the uh, graces that God has bestowed on their souls when do they when they do not acknowledge the good things in life that they have been um that they have been um, um given by God See? Why, 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 do, why do they become sad? Why, why are ungrateful people sad? It's because rather than recognizing and acknowledging the blessings that they have in life, they focus on themselves. They focus and wallow in their own sadness, whatever it is that causes their sadness, whether it be the death of a person or the separation from a loved one, or the loss of a job, or uh, an unfortunate event that happened in their life, or or just the uh, sheer uh, displeasure of what's happening in society. All of these things can cause sadness. All of these things can cause depression on people. But people who focus on that and wallow in that kind of sentiment engage in self-pity. They pity themselves for going through those sad situations. And what happens when you indulge in self-pity? You are blinded. You are blinded from the other side of the story of your life, which is all the good things that you actually have. Okay? All the good things that you actually have in life, all the good things that God has actually given you in your life. See? So sad people, they only focus on the sad facts, the sad circumstances that happen to them. They become oblivious of the good things that God has given them. Okay? Which are definitely more abundant than all the bad things that happen around us. There is more good around us than there are bad things. But the problem is, the devil wants us to focus on the bad things. The devil, that's the trick of the devil. The devil wants us to focus on the bad things. The devil wants us to focus on the sad things. Because he wants to lead us to discouragement. That is the devil's tactic. That is the devil's strategy. He wants you to get discouraged about yourself primarily that you have you lose hope of of ever being happy you lose hope of being of ever correcting the bad things that happen to you you lose hope of getting out of the rut you lose hope that there is salvation for you and then you fall into total despair see that is what the devil wants to happen to us and so the more we entertain sadness the deeper we go into it and the worse we become the worse we become okay so what's the antidote to that 
The antidote to sadness is gratitude. It's not just positive thinking as what many, many people talk about these days. Oh, you have to think positive. Oh, you have to look at the positive side. Ah, uh, well, you know, while there might be a little truth to that, that's not really what makes us happy. Okay? It's not just uh, forcing ourselves to look at the bright side. That's just a little part of the happiness equation. The greater portion of how to be happy and being happy and staying happy is to be grateful. That's the real secret to happiness. That is the real key to being happy and staying happy. It is a sense of gratitude for all the good graces that God has given us. Okay? It is to look forward to not only the happiness here on earth, but the happiness in heaven. Okay? The happiness that we are to enjoy in heaven, which does not really wait, does not really have to wait, because we can enjoy that happiness here on earth if only we learn to be grateful for the things that we already have here on earth. Okay? Because the good things that God has given us here on earth are just a projection of what kind of happiness there is awaiting us in heaven. Where our Lord said, The eye has not seen, nor ear heard, the many good things that God has prepared in His kingdom. Right? In my Father's house there are many mansions. Many mansions. Wow, can you imagine that? Right? Not only a tiny house, not only a nice backyard that we enjoy now, but mansion, the mansion. So whatever we have here on earth is, is just a, 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 a microcosm of the kind of happiness. It's a tiny bit of an experience of the kind of happiness that we can have in heaven, of all the, the great things that we can inherit from our Father God. Okay? So happiness is really a choice. Do we want to be happy? Let's be grateful for the good things we have on earth. Okay? People who are sad and remain sad are sad because they choose to be sad. Because they want to be sad. Okay? And they are giving in to the devil's temptation. To be sad. The devil wants us to be sad. Jesus wants us to be happy. And to find Jesus wants us to find happiness even in the apparently bad things that happen to us. Yes, plenty of bad things happen to us. Plenty of bad things are happening around us. But what we have to understand is we have to find Jesus in all of those bad things. Jesus is there even in the saddest thing, even in the saddest experience we encounter. Even in the saddest experience in our lives, Jesus is there. Because remember that Jesus is in the cross, is on the cross, and he told us to carry our cross. So whatever suffering we're suffering on earth, we're going through on earth, Jesus is there. Now if Jesus is the source of our happiness, if Jesus is the, the, the object of, of, of our happiness, then we have to find happiness even in the saddest experiences of everyday life. We have to be grateful, and this is the way to be happy in those sad things. We have to be grateful that Jesus is sharing his cross to us, with us. That's what, ha that's what suffering is all about. That's what, that's what bad experiences are all about. It is Jesus sharing his cross with us. And when he told us, Take up your cross and follow me. He shares his cross with us so that by sharing his cross, we share in his mission. And if we are really apostles of Jesus, then we have to be happy that we are sharing the cross of Christ. Because we know that by passing through this, this temporary uh, crucifixion that he allows us to participate in on earth, there's going to be resurrection. We're going to look forward to a resurrection. 
We're going to look forward to a redemption. We are going to get out of this bad circumstance. We are going to get out of this unhappy situation. And that's guaranteed. But we have to be willing to get out of it. We have to work at getting out of it. Okay? We cannot indulge in self-pity and wallow in this kind of uh, uh, self-indulgent sadness. Okay? And we have to get out of it. And the way to get out of it is through gratitude. Through gratitude. To be thankful for all the many good blessings God gives us. And to be thankful also for the cross. Okay? For the sadness. We have to be thankful for even that sadness. And the cross that we experience. Because we know that through that cross, through that suffering, Jesus is inviting us to be partners in his mission of redemption. And therefore, we are helping souls. We are not only helping ourselves, but we are helping souls. Okay? So my children, you want to be happy? Be grateful. Be grateful. And the more grateful you are, the more you will not fall into the temptation of sadness. Because being sad is a temptation. It is a temptation. Okay? Uh, I'm not saying we should never be sad at all. No, it's human nature to be sad. It is human nature to be sad. I mean, we have emotions. We will feel lonely, right? We will feel lonely. We will feel sad about circumstances that happen in our lives. That's natural. But what is not good is to wallow in it, to stay in that situation, because then that is the temptation of the devil. Then that is where the devil wants us to stay and remain so that we go deeper and deeper and deeper in that sadness and fall into despair and later on lose our own souls. Okay? So that's what we have to be very careful about. That's what we do not want to happen. And the way to counteract that is to always be grateful. Be grateful, be grateful, and have that spirit of gratitude, the attitude of gratitude for everything that God has given us. Okay? Bye-bye. Have a good day. Let's start our school work. Hey, Uncle Vince. How are you? Uncle Vince is on the phone. It's on the, it's on the call. <laughs> it's on the call. It's on this broadcast. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Okay, bye-bye. Hey, say, say, Vince, say hi to mom. Okay, say hi to Tita Lilia. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.